Hey and thank you so much for joining me in this plan with me video for the month of September. So I'm jumping right into my drawing um, because I started by filming me painting a white paper black and then decided who would want to watch that so I cut that all out. Also, this video would be way too long if I included that. I know some of you like me watching me mix paint, but I had to cut that out. <laughs> so, I am drawing my cover page for this month, for the month of September, which is the Virgo star sign. I am a Virgo and Virgo season is coming up in September. I don't even know, maybe it has already started. I know it ends the 23rd of September, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a Virgo. I was born in September and I was inspired by several people who used star signs last month in their spreads, especially um, Elizabeth Thur from the Plant Based Bride. She, she drew a beautiful line for Leo season. So this was mostly inspired by her by her August plan with me video, but my own take on it. And as she does, she uses a jelly roll, a gold jelly roll before starting the paint. And I did that too here, but it didn't really work for me. The jelly wouldn't draw on the paint. I decided to draw anyway, and at least leave a little bit of mark where I wanted to paint. And that worked fine <laughs> because after that, I started my paint, and that is where the first mistake was made. I used a very, very tiny paintbrush, but it was only tiny in length and still quite stubbly and fat or something. I don't know how to explain it, but you can see it on screen. The lines that I was drawing were way too thick for my liking. I really wanted those really dainty lines, like it's a suggestion of and not BAM! Here's the star sign. <laughs> Luckily, I painted this on acrylic paint. And if you don't know, acrylic paint is basically plastic. So if you paint it with watercolor, if it's not fully dry yet, you can just easily adjust. And how I did that is I first uh, made sure that the paint that I put on was wet completely again. So just go over with a wet brush and make sure that the, the, those parts that had hardened out already actually came loose. And then I just went to the sink and uh, rinsed it off and dried my paper again. The only issue that happened with this is that yeah, of course your paper is going to wrinkle more, but I actually had already put, um, how do you call that, double-sided tape on the back and that made that crinkle so, <laughs> so weirdly, just in stripes. So some parts, the parts that I glued already were not crinkly and the rest was. Anyways, here I fixed my mistake and dabbed my paper dry, as dry as I could get it and just started over. Luckily, um, my sketch was still in the paper. I, I'm not sure whether that was the paint or the jelly roll or the sketch that I made with pe pencil, but I could just start over. <laughs> and over, <laughs> because I again make a mistake. I don't like well, how it turned out and now I knew, oh wow, I can fix my mistakes. I just didn't like how thick these stars turned out that I'm drawing now. So I decided to fix those, to rinse them off again, because they were just way too thick. And my solution to that was to use a longer thin brush. So and just really be delicate with it. Yeah, just, just a longer brush and with a very light hand, draw the lines and stars. That's the only thing. I can say that saved me. <laughs> well, also the fact that this was watercolor on acrylic paint. What it did, however, uh, was leave, because this is a very high shine, very packed with pigment uh, paint. And because the background was a little bit rough because of the paint strokes that I did, 
it left a little bit of a glitter on the background so you don't you're probably not able to completely rinse off this paint but i kind of like it it looks like a sparkly background now and for the theme that's kind of fitting right <laughs> especially because later on i will be adding some more stars also in the background and yeah i just learned from this and noticed that i could fix mistakes with watercolor which is something that i didn't know you could do <laughs> because usually you mix on the paper and you draw and you paint and but this was just simple lines so i could fix the mistakes that i made which i really like that i didn't know you could do that <laughs> And maybe it's not with all the paints, maybe it's just with this paint. Anyway, I was able to fix my mistakes and I was happy because I had already cut out the paper. <laughs> and I also had already struggled with cutting the paper the right size. Even this size was not the size that I had originally planned for my for my spread because it's a little bit smaller than my page and I uh, had plans for it to cover the entire page and then to make sure everybody knows and especially myself <laughs> that uh, it is September I wrote September and I actually wrote it a little bit smaller than I thought I was so I added uh, 2020 behind it and it fits perfectly so Happy little accidents, no mistakes. <laughs> yeah, and um, the paint I had was a little bit too thin, so I had to go over it again with a little bit more of the paint, making the letters a little bit more opaque. Because this paint is very opaque if it's thick, and if you have too much water with it, it is very see-through. I am so sorry for the traffic, I don't know what's up with that today just a lot of scooters it is dinner time and uh, in the Netherlands a lot of food gets delivered by scooters at least where I live in my street they raise scooters to people who order food so that's all the scooters that you keep hearing in this voiceover which I unfortunately cannot tune out or edit out in post anyways I added some stars to the biggest or the brightest stars uh, that this star sign has. Unfortunately, I don't know the names. I could look those up, but <laughs> I won't bore you with knowledge of the star sign of Virgo. <laughs> and here I noticed that it was a little bit too small, which was a bummer, but I decided to just go for it because I had already <laughs> made so many mistakes. And then I had some leftover of the black paper and I put that in the space uh, at the bottom, as you can see, to indicate where the, um, how you call that? So, so the month ends on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So the Thursday is blocked out with black. And I did the same for the first day. So the first non-day at the top, because September starts on a Tuesday. I just used some of that paper that I painted black and cut it to size to the size of one of those uh, little blocks on my calendar. And a tip if you're lazy like me and you don't want to measure everything exactly, just mark it. <laughs> mark where you want to cut and cut. I always have been okay in cutting straight. If you're not, you can always just measure it. And this was my first time trying my new double-sided tape. And I actually liked doing it this way. So I had already put on the tape before cutting it to size. And it, it worked for me. Should I cut things like this out? Or are you interested in the things that I do? Because here I made another mistake, um, I didn't, the, the piece I cut was too short so I decided to cut it off a little bit extra to make it more intentional that it's too short. Um, 
yeah but things like that do you enjoy watching those or do you think why in earth are you doing that why are you showing it to me why are you just not just showing me what you actually did and not all your errors because this is another error that i did i just hand wrote september i hand lettered september whatever you want to call it and hated it <laughs> it was not big enough or too clumsy i don't really know my exact point why i really wanted to get rid of it but i just learned that i could and i was so happy i could <laughs> because i really didn't like it so i grabbed my big brush of water and rubbed it off as best as i could so with a lot of water and try to make your brush clean in between and then i used a tip that i have given myself over and over start at the end so if you want to make sure something fits on your page start with the last letter or in the edge that you want to start yeah i started with the r and then e and then v and i decided i didn't want to have the same hand lettering as the other page so i just oh actually wrote september wrong because guess what writing backwards is not my strength <laughs> uh, oh i had to think so hard while writing this but in the end it turned out nicely and luckily i could erase those mistakes it really was like an eraser and then I had made I had made the paint so wet that the entire bucket was wet so and thick wet paint so I thought I want to use that I have the opportunity now and I love it when this paint is opaque it's so shiny so shimmery so I decided to make the header where I usually um, put on something for the days of the week I decided to go for super shiny <laughs> and I love it it's so pretty it's just every time I look at the spread I get distracted um, especially because I will be adding splatters and it's just little stars and <laughs> it's such a shiny spread and I, I just get distracted very easily I guess but on top of this, I will be putting the days of the week in stickers. So, yeah, just fixing the border a little bit because I, the paint was very thick. So I had to spread it out a little bit more uh, because I was afraid that otherwise it would maybe peel off or something. I don't know if that actually would happen. But we get to the fun part now, splattering. I don't know if you can actually see it very well. At least on the black, you can see it. And somehow I had thought that it wouldn't um, come on the top. So I decided to clean it, which was a mistake because now I have streaks instead of pretty dots. And on this paper, I didn't have acrylic paint, so I didn't want to risk taking it off. I also somehow the fabric that I used to wipe it off actually gave off color. Oops. <laughs> so that's the blue spot you see above the September bar. And I decided to fix my mistakes, the spread out parts to cr by creating stars from it. Which actually turned out very nicely. I just have little stars everywhere now. And I just love sparkly things and especially pretty champagne colored sparkles and stars and star signs and galaxies and I could go on. I love, I, 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 I am kind of a fan of stars. <laughs> I also love looking at the stars in real life. It's something so surreal to know how small we actually are and how far away things are how incomprehensible anyways speaking about stars or spreads spreads <laughs> i added some more splashes to the bigger um to the big spread 
sometimes terminology just doesn't make sense and I just say whatever comes to mind. So I'm sorry if nothing what I just said made sense. But here I am actually putting the stickers on that I mentioned before. <laughs> so ordered i'm so i'm so organized <laughs> you would think for a planner channel for a plan with me video channel see super organized super ordered in my head words come out just they're like a word vomit and i'm so sorry for that you would think i um <clears throat> would know what to say by now i just ramble on during these voiceovers and while I was rambling on, I started painting little trees to cover up my mistake that I just told you about, about the uh, cloth that I used to try and wipe away my paint and that left a little bit of blue. Unfortunately, I didn't really notice the frame until now. <laughs> So I try to keep it in frame, but I, I don't, I, I'm not able to watch what I'm filming. So what's, what's on my camera while I'm filming, it's just above my head and I don't see what I'm filming. So sorry if some things are out of frame. I don't have a solution for that. I try to mark off my space, <laughs> but I made little Bob Ross trees just to the sides and I just watched uh, Elizabeth her video and she also has these trees like these pine trees that have the little ziggy zaggies such a coincidence I did not film this after that video that was not inspired by that that's just a coincidence this was a way for me to fix my mistake and I just wrote down the numbers of the days of the month with my trusty Kaweco Sport orange pen in black <laughs> if you're interested in those things and then I uh, stuck on my painting my um, Virgo painting which didn't go as smoothly as I would have thought with the little stickies on the back but it worked out and I'm actually happy that I left a little bit of room so it doesn't make the inside bulky, too bulky. And then, uh, because I loved the thick paint on the days of the week, they, yeah, days of the week on the previous spread, I decided to use the same paint to put under the same stickers for the days of the week in my first weekly. This is another mistake. I had planned to do my um, monthly tracker here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and well, I just decided I haven't used my tracker in two months. I make it, I just start it, and then I just forget about it somehow. So I just have some weekly tracker stickers that I use for that. And the numbers again written with my Kaweco Sports fountain pen. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I love this spread. I and mesmerized by it and if you did please don't forget to give it a like and i hope you will consider subscribing i make a plan with me video every single month thank you again for watching bye bye <laughs>